Intel unveils monstrous GPU with 16,384 cores and over 40 teflops. Intel's Architecture Day 2020 brought a first look at the company's upcoming Tiger Lake processors, along with a more detailed preview of Intel's foray into building its own GPUs with its upcoming Z graphics, both of which promise to offer higher performance and lower power consumption than ever before. Intel hosted Architecture Day 2020, where it revealed a lot of new things. And, probably, one of the most impressive announcements was the announcement of the Z line of graphics accelerators from HP. Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake chips are an attempt to fight back against its increased competition. Tiger Lake chips are powered by new Willow Cove architecture, which is built on a new super-thin transistor that promises a generational type of increase that a full-node shift would have offered. Out-of-the-box I.O. standards supported by Tiger Lake will include Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4, DDR5 RAM at up to 5400 mAh in addition to DDR4 at up to 3200 MHz and LPDDR4X at up to 4767 MHz and CGen 4.0 with speeds up to 8 GB per second. The XELP graphics will obviously offer big improvements to gaming across Intel's lineup. It will be able to smoothly run games like PUBG, Grid, Doom Eternal, and Battlefield V at 1080 pixels. It is worth mentioning that they are not aimed at the consumer segment but at data centers, that is, you need to compare ZHP cards, for example, with the NVIDIA A100 or the upcoming AMD Radeon Instinct Mi 100 card. What makes the Intel product so special? At least by its parameters and performance. Accelerators of the ZHP line will exist in three versions, with one chip, two and four. Intel itself calls the chip styles. That is, the GPU ZHP, in addition to the base one, will be multi-chip, like modern desktop and server AMD processors. Each chip will contain 512 execution units with 4096 cores each. Accordingly, the top-end solution of the line will boast 16384 cores. Interestingly, this information surfaced on the web at the beginning of the year, and now it turned out that it was all true. As a result, the performance of the top-end accelerator with four chips, clocked at 1.3 GHz, will be an incredible 42 TFLOPs, FP32. For comparison, the same NVIDIA A100 with its monstrous GPU containing 54 billion transistors has a performance of only 19.5 TFLOPs. True, the advantage of Intel's solution can be explained very simply. The fact is that this very performance in TFLOPs is calculated using a very simple formula. The clock frequency in MHZ is multiplied by the number of cores in the chip and multiplied by the number of instructions processed per clock, and then all this is multiplied by 10 6. That is, when calculating such performance, numerous architectural features and so on are not taken into account, but these dry numbers are not always needed. However, HP's top-end Z accelerator is very impressive, and even more interesting is what Intel has created. Intel during the presentation showed what its product is capable of. The ZHP handles 10 streams of HEV 4K video at 60fps in real time with just one chip. At the same time, Intel speaks of almost perfect scalability, that is, the top-end ZHP version will be able to cope with 40 threads already. Intel has leveraged unique packaging innovations for an industry-first multi-tiled highly scalable and high-performance architecture. This ZHP has been created to be a media supercomputer on a PC card. It can do transcoding of 4K video real-time up to 60 frames per second, on a single stream. Using industry-leading media IP along with most dense media architecture on a GPU with PEG it enables you to transcode up to 10 full streams of high-quality HEV 4K video at 60 frames per second. All this on a single tile. Customers realize real-world TCO improvements for delivery of video content that scale along with media. In the forefront of Z architecture has been placed compute throughput thus increasing the total number of execution units by over 100x when compared to ZLP. XEHP covers a dynamic range of compute throughput by viewing it through the lens of FP32 performance. The dynamic range includes near-linear scalability from one tile to four tile and tracking the most FP32 peak performance placed onto a single GPU package when measured by the CLP benchmark. It is clear that Intel has a true mammoth of a chip in its labs. 42 TOFOPS is already the world's fastest single GPU. Lastly, Intel previewed the next wave of its roadmap for 2021. Combining a mix of faster, more power-hungry core the current Lakefield chips take a similar approach to ARM's big dot little technology. Alder Lake will combine Golden Cove cores with Gracemont for even better performance and lower power consumption. Alder Lake could be coming to higher-powered laptops or even desktops in the future. 
This is only a high-level look at the technicalities at Intel's upcoming hardware, we expect a full reveal of the new Tiger Lake chips by 2nd September. That's all for now, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.